Now that we have taken out the whole front suspension assembly, uh, I have also removed the front protective guard. Uh, in order to take out this little gearbox in the center, uh, there are six screws and two hinge pins that you need to take out. The first two you need to take out are here. Take these two screws out. Now you need to take these four screws out from here. One, two, three, four. So let's start taking them out. Now you need to take these two little E locks out. These are very little ones and they can easily lost. So carefully remove them. You can also use a nose plier to remove them. Simply and gently push them out. Now the hinge pins should come out easily. Simply let the dog bones out, bring them out, and slide it out too. There you are, you have your front central gearbox in your hands. Uh, there is nothing much to repair in it. Um, I would simply recommend if something is wrong with it, simply order a new one and just put it back in. Uh, but remember how everything comes out from these things because once you finish doing it, you will actually end up in a mess like this one. Hold on, let me show you. There. There are lots of screws here and there is a whole mess. So remember where everything goes back. Now that I'm assuming that you have got a new one, so all you need to do is put it simply back in and put everything back in. So let's start putting it back in. Now taking out the rear central gearbox is actually very very similar to the front one. All you need to do is first take this guard out. Once again remember there will be four screws here to take out and after that you need to take out the hinge pins. Once the hinge pins are out the lower suspension arms will come off you can take the dog bones out and simply slide the tower up and your rear differential gearbox or rear central gearbox will be in your hands. Similarly, when putting it back, slide the tower back in, put the dog bones in, put the lower suspension arms here, install the hinge pins on, Put those four screws back in, put the guard back on, and you are done. Now that we have seen the procedure for taking out the front and rear central gearboxes, uh, you can always repair them with the new ones, and it's time to put everything back on. Kind of headache, but of course we can do it.